Okay guys, welcome back for another episode. Let's check this one right away before we continue. Okay, there's actually nothing there. Yeah, but below are a couple of items, it seems. Yeah, first we have to figure out how to get there. Grand Cloister. Okay, it's kind of small though. Maybe there is a tunnel or something, but I think they are kind of connected somehow. Oh, there is a centipede. Oh, wait a second. Um, I forgot something at no Noxtella. I think that's the perfect time for uh, checking it out, because we have no runes with us. I don't know if you remember, but there was some uh, ledges around the corner. Look like you can go there. Maybe there is something. It's where the first uh, ball was coming down. So we have to do a couple of killing. Yeah, let's slip through. Okay, just around the corner and then over the bridge. Ah, we have to kill the ball again, though. Yeah, that's the ledge to the left. <laughs> okay. Okay. Whoa! Strong attacks actually uh, kind of stunning them or something, but because the first ball was more aggressive than this guy's. Is there something else actually? I forgot. I don't think so. Let's double check. Also, we can see uh, if there's actually a way around the corner from that angle. Hopefully. Nah, it might be possible to go there. It's not too far. It's quite many jumps though to uh, master before falling down. It's always 50-50 to fall down though. <laughs> so... At least it's uh, a little bit easier than in Dark Souls. Drop from here. Okay, I'm not instantly dead, so... Oh boy. Whoa! Okay, that was a close one. Ah, crap, nothing here! We tried to go there. Oh no! Yeah, I think there is nothing at all. So let's uh, give up there. We've tried. Um, and since we're here, we can uh, farm for the armor, maybe. Okay, what are our options? Uh, we have the helmet, which boosts discovery, and uh, we have that. Foul food. Let's get the helmet first. Mm. 
Yeah, this one. Yeah, I think let's just do a round and see what uh, drops for us. Before going back to the bonfire. To reset. Oh, nice! Nox Swordstress Armor. I think it was a new one. So we've got uh, at least legs, uh, helmet and chest. Now the braces and it should be complete. And the armor. Okay, so we've got two different armors. And the male hat. Just the briefs occur. back to the bonfire. I think the braces are still missing for the set. I would like to have them too. Oh nice! I've got two drops. The twin crown and the braces, finally. Oh, and the buff ran out for, uh, for discovery from that foul foot. So let's check, maybe we can uh, get a set together from the items we've got. Okay, we've got the Nox Monk Hood. Worn by the monks of the Eternal City, long ago the Nox invoked the ire of the Greater Will. Twin crowns worn by the Night Maidens of the Eternal City indicates the highest cleric rank and hides the eyes with silk. Hmm, not bad, actually. I think I will go with this one. It's not too bad uh, compared to the one uh, with the pointy head. Uh, okay, this one is female. That's the male one. Sorceress. Uh, these women are the personal guards of uh, the Night Maidens and wear silk capes. Mm, I mean, we could uh, farm the Night Maidens armor, but I think it's good enough. Yeah, let's go with that. Nice. Looking good. Just three runes here. Yeah, gimme. Yeah, maybe at some point I will farm those others too, but seriously, I think they are quite similar anyway. Maybe the cape is a little different or the pointy head. 
with its long cone. The rest is quite similar, so I think that's fine. In a couple of episodes we will uh, change the armor anyway, so... Never mind. Okay, back to uh, the Grand Cloister. Yeah, I like that armor, definitely. Okay, um... First, the centipede, before we forget about that. Can I actually go there? Oh! Another spot where maybe uh, some NPC was waiting for me, and I missed that. Hmm. I don't know, I don't know. Oh! Ninja! Oh, nothing here, though. No oh boy! That's quite many of them! I hope they are not too strong. can only go down, I guess. Okay. Uh, let's start with the waterfall. There are still items there. Oh boy, there's another one. Fortunately, they are not shooting stuff constantly. <laughs> the damage I've got the first time seeing them, that was crazy. Compared to now, it's, it's just the usual enemy. if the lake of rot is actually the source of the Kaelid's rot or if it's just two different places because they are quite far away and also on the ground They are definitely shooting less often. I mean, the guys in the mine were uh, almost constantly shooting. Right. <laughs> Never underestimate them. Okay, okay, we have to do it again. Well, this time we can take the stairs, I guess. And uh, don't drop down. We've checked that already. There are actually no stairs. Oh, by the way, before I forget again to buy arrows, let's do it right away. Ah, always. Yeah, I was out of runes though, so I've tried to farm the armor of those uh, small guys uh, around the ground barrel, um, dragon barrel, near uh, Gurank. Not a single item dropped though, but yeah, now we have enough for some arrows. Win win. Goodbye. Or maybe they're just coming this way. Yeah, these guys must be it. Okay. So we have more time. And don't have to fight them all.
Okay, I get ready for the rot. Debuff. What? What? What is that? What? Seriously, it's the joint warm thing. What? You serious? Oh boy! Ah, uh, okay, we have to kill him. <laughs> okay, I haven't expected that. Something is getting out of that waterfall. Holy crap! <sighs> and it's a narrow area, so that's gonna be fun to fight this warm thing. Can't remember the name. Uh, um, no, no way, I can remember that. Something with Arch Tree, I think. Come on, come on, come on. So we can get rid of that rod at least. And I hope the guys from the back are not coming too fast. Okay. Come on, Lieutenant, do your thing. Yeah, just all in before the other guys are coming. I can see <laughs> I can see them behind him. No. Please just die. <laughs> okay, where are they? Golden seed, nice. What? They're not even here. Oh, must have seen the other guy uh, way back. Well, it worked out. So, maybe check the waterfall again. Okay, nothing here though. Nope. Uh, okay. Out of FP. Uh... Okay, five flasks left. Maybe it's a good idea to reset. Mm. Nah, it can't be that hard, right? Okay. Thought we can skip him. So you can actually get the armor. Good to know, good to know. I wasn't even trying. Because I thought it's just uh, enemy design, not an armor at all. Mm, 
it worth to put something on the weapon? Nah, I don't think so. I mean, with two hits, they uh, are bleeding and are dead in a way, so... I don't think it makes sense now. Let's just hope they're not attacking all at once. Okay, now is there separated from David? That's doable. The Union Butterfly, they drop. Interesting. That's still easier to get that from uh, from the lake. No, no, no. Okay. I don't know why, but um, these guys are always too short and miss the first attack. Maybe because they are kind of big, I uh, misjudged the range. Oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> Okay, the last one. Make it count. Okay, looks like another coffin. And maybe that's the way we get to that bluish area on the ground. Let's just check if it's indeed a uh, unusable one or not. Okay, yeah, it is. Nice. Okay, but finish up this area first. Let's check it out if it's a dead end or not. There might be still a tunnel or something. Be a trap. Or maybe not. Scorpion's stinger. Dagger or sword, maybe? Um. I guess it's a dagger. Yeah. Uh, okay, it's just dexterity. Scarlet rod built up. Ooh. Dagger fashioned from a great scorpion's tail, glistening, glistening with uh, scarlet rod. Ceremonial tool used by heretics, crafted from the relic of a sealed outer god. Repeating thrust. That's the first one with uh, Scarlet Rod, I think. Maybe even the only one.
I think we're done here. Let's continue. Yeah, nothing here. Alright, let's get ready for another cutscene. Kind of bluish. This might be the area. Okay, let's see if there's a bonfire because we are out of flasks. Oh wow, clean water! Okay, there is no bonfire inside. Oh. Okay, oh no, we have to go back. There's no way. I mean, I can try to, to kill the boss without flasks. But I don't know if it works. can just run through, I guess. Uh, I think let's try. Why not? Why not? I mean, it's just one death. And there is a chance that the Latana will carry us <laughs> through the boss, so... Let's see. Um, maybe we are lucky and it's... Uh, human-like, so we can backstab him and get some health back. Another voice, let's see. Okay... What? So far from no damage. Oh boy, this guy's tough. What the hell for? What? Okay, there's no way I can do that. Okay, teleportation. It's one of those things uh, hanging from the ceiling. Usually, but kind of different. Okay, no hit run, not. We can just roll. Okay, looks like uh, those bubbles are kind of exploding afterwards. And splash damage. Okay, okay, let's uh, do a proper try then. <laughs> uh... Oh yeah, we can uh, spawn here. So we don't have to run all the way to the coffin again. Um, for the setup, I think... 
Might change that to magic. Um, yeah, I think maybe more health. I don't know. Um, and this one. So we can keep the aggro on us, so that I can shoot this guy. Constantly. Magic will not work, I think. This guy's magic itself. So let's go for fire. Ah, shit. Um, Astol. Natural born of the void. Yeah, reporting. Gotcha. Yeah, maybe just go for the... I don't think we can hit the hat easily. Okay, this has definitely area of attack and a pretty large one. So what's going on? Whoa! Okay, fortunately it's not too much damage. Uh oh, uh oh! Whoa! Reputational spells too. Oh yeah, that that. Okay. No, no, no. no. What a bad timing. Always when I jump, he's... Okay, he's done. Alright, the trophy even. Remembrance of the Natural Born. Okay, which way to go actually? Is that where we're coming from? Oh, there is the bonfire. Let's go there. And we've got quite some runes. And it's almost two levels. Um, not quite, but with a couple of golden runes we should be able to get two levels. Difficult. Vigor 40. Endurance to 40, maybe? And I think 30 is fine. Yeah, maybe strength. Yeah, we have to put the points somewhere. I mean, for the sake of uh, the experiment, if Arcane boosts lifesteal at all, I think we can go uh, for a couple more level ups in Arcane. Maybe 15. Okay, that should be enough. We are one golden seed short for another upgrade. You 
You cannot proceed without a ring of oath. Hmm. Maybe back to Rani? Otherwise it's a dead end. I think we've did everything here. So far we can go. Mm, let's talk to... Uh, to Iji first. Maybe he has new uh, infos on Blythe. Okay, never mind. Uh, first we're gonna check the remembrance of uh, the boss right now. Mm. Didn't we had already four? Something missing. A remembrance of Estel Nidrable Of Namesake uh, A malformed star born in the lightless void far away, once destroyed an eternal city, and took away their sky. A falling star of ill omen. Okay, let's see uh, what items it gives us. <sighs> or even armor? Nope. Bastard stars. A flail. Ash of War Waves of Darkness. Waves of darkness plunge armament into the ground to release three waves of darkness. Follow up with a strong attack to swing the armament in a sweeping strike. Eh. Flail which deals magic damage, having been imbued with power by a remembrance of Astel, formed um, of the same many colored star debris that comprised the form of the natural born of the void. Looks kind of nice. Uh, Nebula, imbue, imbue the natural born stars with magic to perform a sweeping strike. This attack leaves a dark cloud of stars in its wake that lingers briefly before exploding. Hmm. Also kind of nice. Eh, but nothing for us, as long as we are not investing in uh, intelligence. Um, yeah, still nothing for us actually. Yeah, still waiting. For the good stuff. Now go forth. Kind of weird. We have still haven't found that treasure Iji was talking about. Did we? Well, let's see if he has some new dialogue now. Greetings, my fellow. You need not await, Blythe. Descend underground alone, with the fallen, and make it yours. The precious treasure. So that lady Rani. Okay, it's all the same. I'm kind of confused. Let's visit Rani then. Maybe you have to give it Rani first before he changes his dialogue. Am I still sleeping? Ah. Oh no. It was thee, not Blythe, it seemeth. Even in my slumber I sensed it. It is in thy possession, is it not? The hidden treasure of Nokron. My thanks. Finally all the pieces are in place. Soon must I begin my journey. Upon the dark path only I may tread. Uh, okay. Okay, was it that one uh, blade item? Uh, even I can't remember what it was. Some ritual dagger or something? Oh boy. Maybe I've given it already to her now. And I can't find it here anyway. Yeah, probably gave it away already. I can't find anything. Yeah, makes sense. 
Ah, but before I leave, I must entrust thee with this. Take it. Key item carrying inverted statue. Is it for the tower? My discarded flesh lieth beyond the seal unlocked by it, upon which is carved the curse mark of thy desire. I can fathom what thy purpose might be. Neither of us is welcomed by the brighter path. I see. You may leave now. It was but brief, but thou gavest me fine service. That's it? Um, okay, let's remember. Uh, who gave me that uh, mission to get the, the curse mark of her? Uh, no, Salavis wasn't it. Uh, also not Blythe. Was it Rogier? But he's gone now, so how do I complete this mission? Or is it indeed the same mark Fia is looking for? Hmm. What is it? Thy purpose in approaching me was to obtain the curse mark, was it not? You may leave now. I too am to depart on a journey. Upon the dark path only I may tread. Well, uh... Yeah. So I guess if I'm coming back here, she's gone. Uh, what can I do now? I can definitely check out uh, the guys like Salavis, uh, E.G. Blythe is still missing, I don't know where he is. Um, maybe E.G. has a pointer to go. Also the tower uh, in Leurnia. What else? Uh, I think that's pretty much the options I have now. And we haven't uh, find the starlight uh, Selvis was looking for to betray Rani. I was expecting to do that on the way uh, underground. Well, let's um, check the Selvis then, what he's saying. Maybe he's like, disappointed of us. Maybe it's just the start of the mission of him, and he will point us to somewhere else. Okay, here it is. Let's double check, just in case. Maybe something changed. Okay, um, let's go. Okay, we have still haven't found such guys here. Wait! It's one of the Nox monks. Okay, that's interesting. This one looks kind of similar to Roger's garb, but... It's not him, right? Okay, this one is still standing here. So, pretty much nothing changed. So, uh, let's talk to Salavis. Uh... He dead? He's dead! What? Have I missed something? I mean, he was waiting for that starlight. Okay. Have I skipped a bunch of the story with these guys? Something isn't right. He can't be dead now. I mean, he was sending me on the mission just before. I can still trade those, but... Selvis, bell bearing and his armor. Preceptor's big hat. 
Long gone. Okay, it feels like I've skipped something. Messed up the order somehow. A long bright blue gown with the movements of the stars drawn upon it. Worn by the magic preceptors who served the Carrion royals. Uh, Glintstone sorcerers are the descendants of the astrologers. In fact, that the Carrion remain aware of, even if the fate has been long severed from the stars. Okay, nothing special about Salvas mentioned at the armor, so just the usual armor, I guess. Uh, with the movements of the stars, um, magic preceptors, increases mind of the determinant of stamina. Hmm, okay, I was hoping for some story on this guy. Well, seems like not too special. <sighs> okay, I have a bad feeling I skipped some uh, something or screwed up the order somehow. Okay, what next? What next? Uh, what is left? Maybe uh, talk to Ijinu? Maybe he can tell me something about Blythe? Oh, there you are. Good of you to drop by. Have you heard? Lady Rani has departed on her journey. Along the dark path of the Empyrean. From Rena's rise, as she calls it, it would not have been possible without you. As Lady Rani's war counselor, and moreover, her childhood warden, I express my deepest gratitude. You, and only you, were Lady Rani's true champion. My purpose is nearing its end. I've served Lady Rani for as long as I can remember. It has been a long and wondrous journey. Now Lady Rani is in your hands. I pray that you serve her well. And to the very end. Hmm. Lady Rani has departed on her journey. Along the dark path. Now Lady Rani... I pray that you... Rena's Rise. Uh, that's the one uh, which was blocked by a magic barrier, right? And we can check that out too before we go to the tower. I mean, Fia and Rani are still separated, kind of, I think. It's not the same line of missions. Let's double check if there's an item now that she left. In the tower. Bonfire now. That would be useful before she disappears, actually. <laughs> well, maybe she returns at some point, so... It might be useful after all. Uh, can we do something here? Not really, not really. That's weird. What is sitting on that? Looks like some chest on the chair. To make her larger. Well, I think next is uh, Rena's Rise, uh, which should be unlocked now, I hope. So let's get there. Oh, wait, I have an idea. Um, let's check out that secret uh, cellar again, because if uh, Selvis is dead now, and that um, sorcerer in that secret room is still standing there. I mean, so far I thought it's kind of um, Selvis real body. And uh, Selvis himself was just a doll. I mean, still might be, actually. He was kind of sitting there, so maybe... He's not dead at all. It just changed, um, or she changed the puppet. Looks like she's still standing here and still alive, I would say. And I'm not sure if there are other puppets 
missing from the solar zone. I guess we'll see if we're gonna meet someone else in the future from that cellar. There you are, my apprentice. Shall we commence the lesson? Okay, she has nothing else. Nothing new. Still no idea why uh, there's a double of her. Let's double check if she's still there. It'll do no good, I swear it. And yet you persist. You frothing degenerates. Okay, still the same, I would say. Nothing changed at all. So we haven't made progress here, no. Okay, then back to... Uh, What was our plan again? I forgot already. Uh, Rena's Rise, right? Yeah. Yeah, this was blocked, right? I mean, it's so long ago, I'm not even sure now, but... I think we haven't been here yet. Oh yeah, there is still a chest. So we haven't. Snow Witch Head. And Rope and Skirt. Uh, okay. Was it the same thing Rani was wearing? I'm not sure if hers was white or gray or something. Oh. I guess that's where uh, Rani went for. Um, I guess we will do the tower later, because that's kind of Fia's objective. Witch's pointed head, a frigate and frozen through, of a style associated with uh, practitioners of heretical sorcery. Strengthens cold sorcery. Once worn by the snowy crone, who uh, the young Rani encountered deep in the woods. She was a witch and well versed in cold sorceries. It is said that the doll that houses Rani's soul was modeled after her. That old witch was Rani's secret mentor. Okay, so she's definitely a doll. I mean, it makes sense if her body is still at the tower with a curse mark. Uh, yeah, it makes sense actually. Um, should we follow her right away? I think we should. Let's double check if there is another text here. Uh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Same stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, let's just follow. We can do uh, Fia's quest later. Angel River Maid? What? I was here already. But there is an item. It wasn't here before. Oh boy. I have a bad feeling. I should have... Key item. Miniature Rani? What? I have a bad feeling. Doll resembling Rani the witch. A doll resembling Rani the witch from head to toe. Every detail is perfect. This unresponsive doll seems pleasantly cool. Okay, I have a bad feeling that I messed up the order. So uh, after Nokron, I should have given her the item. Then she might have been here when I arrived here. Let's reset, maybe something changes. No. 
Oh boy, I screwed it up. Isn't it? Okay, let's um, think for a bit. What was... How did I get here, actually? Without Rani's rise, uh, Rana's rise. Um, it was that coffin deep under the the capital city. Yeah. Um, so I just took a different way here. Ah, because Fia's uh, quest is kind of connected to that too. I don't know. Should I just run through all the areas and uh, look for Rani or Blythe? I don't know. Well, at least let's check Noxtella for that. If there is someone. Otherwise, I don't know. Maybe it's too late for anything, for that quest. Because maybe I would have um, Rani help with the last boss here, with Estel. But I have killed him already. Maybe let's check if uh, Rani's there. I don't know, I don't know. Maybe it's not connected to Rani at all. I mean, it's not like there's a way to check the whole areas again quickly. So I would have to do it... Um, Slow and steady. Okay. Not here either. I mean, this area was kind of weird anyway, because there's a bonfire and there's just a couple of rocks. Maybe she's in the next section. Nah. Doesn't look good at all. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, well, guys, I think uh, that's pretty much it for that episode. I will check out a couple of uh, locations, maybe, to uh, look for Ronnie. But I'm out of ideas right now. Yeah, we'll see what we will do next uh, episode. I mean, there is still the tower to find the curse mark. And, um, well, the other stuff like the capital city and volcano. Well, see ya in the next one. Oh boy.